Welcome back poolside. Leave me alone, I'm busy farming. Today we're going to be assembling a birdie's raised garden bed. I just picked up two more. I just did one of these a few minutes ago. This is the configuration I'm going for. I want something longer and less narrow so it's easier for me to get to when I'm at this side of it. So give me a couple minutes. I'll get this one off the table. I'll unbox the other one. This is the box it comes in. So I'll go ahead and take this out. We'll come back in just a minute. So I've just unboxed everything. Again, that's the box it comes in. There's four corners. And it comes with six side pieces. Bag of hardware. This is the plastic bead that goes around the top of it. There's the instructions. Can't be too complicated, it's all on one page, right? Oh, by the way, this hat, I had to beg my nephew for it, Camden. So again, thank you, Camden, my favorite hat. All right. So, you just need to spend a minute and peel off the protective coating. Best way to do it is you get it started. That's it. It's done. I'm going to go ahead and peel the rest of these and the corners. And I'll come back just as I'm starting to assemble the sides. And from this point out, I'm going to go ahead and set my timer so we get a general idea of about how long this takes to assemble. All right, so about 30 seconds in. I like to start by assembling the corners. Let me take a minute to talk about some tools you're going to need. Comes with this tool for the nuts. I've decided to use a nut driver, and it's a 5 16 socket. Phillips screwdriver, a pair of cutters. Or a utility knife. Now I like to start with my corners first and then I'll continue filling in. And I typically do two to start. Probably not a good idea doing it right by the pool. A little cold, I have to go swimming to fish out any hardware.
grow your own vegetables, you get to snack on them as you work it. I had Kendra and Giovanni last night crazy over. You got to get the tomatoes that are split. True, it's the most ripe, but I just want them to eat those. They tend to go bad quicker because of the split, so they were fighting over who got the tomato with the split. Money. So this is number six for me. What I found is start with your corners, work on your sides. I like to start with two, one bolt and a nut, top and bottom. Once you have this completely assembled, then you can go back and fill in the other three per section. Bolt is on the outside. outside. The other tip is hand tighten as much as possible. It'll make it easier when you go back later with your nut driver. A lot of turning. Alright, I'll come back after I've filled all these in. That's one. As you can see the manufacturer was thoughtful enough to include a couple of extra pieces of hardware. For me working next to the pool, that would have been handy if I had dropped one in the pool. Fortunately, I didn't have any drops. Phillips screwdriver, nut driver, 5 16. got to go around, tighten up all the rest. I would caution you about using an impact driver, a ratchet with a socket where you might get too much lever, or a drill with the Phillips head on it. I believe the worst thing you can do is over tighten it, you could damage the finish. What's the rush? It should last you 10 plus years. We're not even at 15 minutes yet. So, again, enjoy the process, especially if you can set up next to a waterfall. 
and just enjoy the moment of putting this together. Again, take your time, use your hand tools, you won't regret it. I'll come back here after I finish tightening up all of the, the nuts. Again, you see how much turning is involved, so the more you can hand tighten, the more efficient it will be. You'll get a good forearm workout. <clears throat> right, I've tightened everything up. Working on this protective strip. It slides over the top. A little pro trip, right? Tip, excuse me, pro tip when you get right to this where the seam is. I'm going to try and push them together and wiggle. There we go. See, it could be a little difficult. Once you get it started, again, a little wiggle, hitch them together. Now, you need to make a cut, your choice. Less than 25 minutes, and I've taken some time to shut the camera off, walk back and forth. As I said, this isn't a rush. All right. So there you have it. The Birdie's raised garden bed. This is the lower from a height profile. I've opted to go with a longer configuration. My thought is, this will be up against my food forest and I don't want to have to walk behind. So if I set it up this way, it's very easy for me to get to what's in the back and I have all of this. Probably do three, four rows of vegetables. <clears throat> so, anyway. Not buying or selling here, how you go about determining what might be the, re the best raised garden bed for you. If I, I've said in earlier videos, I've done cedar beds. I actually have one inside my greenhouse. Looks beautiful. I just find after a couple of years they tend to fail. You get some dry rotting. I actually had some large ants that were eating the bottom. Um, so again, a little expensive, powder coated, you get several options on how you can configure it. They give you examples right down here on the bottom. The most, the most point with his nose. So, again, my hope was just to give you a general idea of what was involved to assemble a birdie's raised bed. The approximate time, again, this isn't a race. You have a general idea. This way, as you're looking for what option might be good for you, what type of a raised bed, this gives you a point of reference. So, I'm going to sit back with Primo, get a nice cold drink, find a sunny spot, enjoy the waterfall. So, we'll see you next time. Poolside. Uh, oh, real quick, a couple of upcoming videos. I want to show you all how to grow vegetables with the Kratky method. Um, when I set these up, I'm going to be adding another zone to my sprinkler system. So I did a video on that, but I'm going to be doing some drip irrigation here. Uh, I don't know. You know, again, we've got a lot of stuff planned, but if you guys have anything that you'd like us to talk about, we're happy to shoot some film for that. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here poolside or back in the greenhouse. We'll see you later.